Story Builder is a suite of post-review tools designed to allow you to organize key documents and prepare for upcoming important events, such as depositions. In Story Builder, documents are organized in your project story, which allows you to view important documents in a timeline and work with them in a word processing tool called Drafts. Story Builder also includes depositions. The dashboard is an overview of the documents, objects, and activity in your story. The events and tasks lists can help you prepare for upcoming events and depositions, as well as collaborate with other users on tasks. The timeline view allows you to work with all of the documents in your story, applying labels, associating them with dates, events, and people. You can edit the identifying information about a document. Document titles can be changed to something more descriptive to help easily identify documents across the story. To view a document, click the eye icon. You can use the same button throughout Story Builder to view documents. In order to take full advantage of the timeline functionality, you'll want to assign dates to the documents. When entering a date, you'll have the option to enter a custom date or you can use the date that is associated with that document from the document's metadata. Metadata values are populated from a document set's load file if provided and are based on the properties of the document. You can change a document's date at any time. If you want to add a date to all of your documents at once, you can do so using the batch button. First, make sure that all of the blue checkboxes next to the documents are selected. You can then use the batch button to update the date value, apply labels, and add documents into other Story Builder objects. Labels can be used to organize and filter your documents. To filter documents by their label, select the labels on the left. You can create as many categories and labels as you need. Event labels allow you to associate a period of time with that event, which will appear in your timeline. You can add labels, events, and people to documents to help organize your timeline. You can also associate documents with drafts or deposition objects in the same way. Adding a deposition or a draft to a document in the timeline will add that document into the corresponding object. You can create a new draft from the Drafts tab. To work on the draft itself, open it from the Drafts tab. A draft is a collaborative tool that allows you to create formatted text with document references in line. Some common use cases include preparing for witness interviews, organizing arguments, or outlining case strategy. You can insert documents into the body of your draft as often as you need to refer to them. Everlaw's deposition tool is designed to help you facilitate the entire deposition process. As you prepare for a deposition, you can use the deposition view to organize key documents, draft deposition questions, and plan deposition strategy. You can then select some or all of the included documents to generate an exhibit list to be used during the deposition. At the deposition, you can continue to use the deposition view to collaborate and communicate in real time, flag key events with timestamps, and track items to follow up on later. To begin preparing for a deposition, create a new deposition object for each deposition that will be taking place. Once the deposition object has been created, you can click the Add Details button at the top to add more information about this deposition. You can identify the individual being deposed and build a profile of that person. You can also add the date and location to the details. After the deposition is complete, the summary view can be used to prepare a summary, and the transcript view allows you to upload a transcript and link deposition exhibits. The Exhibits Numbers option can be used to add the official exhibit number to a document during the deposition. Exhibits with numbers will be automatically linked to references in the transcript.